The stratospheric balloon taking Red Bull Stratus to the skies is extremely thin, extremely delicate, yet once airborne, incredibly strong and reliable. Made of high performance polyethylene, the balloon is essentially the engine for the capsule. Very expensive, very hard to get, very hard to talk people even into selling you balloons of this type. A three million cubic foot balloon took Joe Kittinger to 102,000 feet in 1960. A 30 million cubic foot balloon will take Felix Baumgartner 17,000 feet further. 10 times bigger for that difference in altitude. It's extreme. And the Gores holding the balloon together must carry a payload of almost 3,000 pounds. Uninflated, the balloon for the final launch will stretch nearly 600 feet long and will weigh a bit more than 3,700 pounds. Stratospheric balloons are extremely fragile uh, on the ground. Once they get airborne, they can take a pretty good beating, but on the ground, they're very vulnerable. If you can imagine what it takes to poke a hole through a dry cleaner bag, it's what it takes to poke a hole in our balloon. No doubt the team has to be careful. Each balloon can only be used once. It takes patience to be a person that flies balloon because they have to wait for the right weather conditions. It's not only dangerous, it's also very expensive because if you destroy the balloon and the helium, you've lost a large investment. The launch is probably the most critical phase, and when we have a human on board, that's like super critical. A dynamic launch, timing or awkward positioning of the capsule can cause a pendulum effect that could bring the vessel to the ground, endangering the mission or worse. As you're launching off the balloon, there's a dead man zone. If there's a failure in the launch where the balloon fails, the parachute doesn't have time to really open. You have an instant failure right there on the ground. As the balloon ascends towards the troposphere, the flight train stretches roughly 750 feet long. At the target height of 120,000 feet, the balloon will transform into a sphere roughly 300 feet high and 400 feet in diameter. Since the massive balloon is filled with low-density gas, helium, it is amazingly lighter than air. And because there is less and less air at higher altitudes, gravity will kick in. The balloon will reach what is known as float altitude and go no further. At this point, Felix will exit the capsule and begin his free fall. Once Felix is safely on the ground, the balloon is cut away. Three, two, one, release. A recovery crew is sent to a point calculated by the team's meteorologist. The preparations have taken years, yet in the span of just a few hours, the mighty balloon will help the Red Bull Stratus program reach incredible new heights. With the beauty of balloons, we were able to climb above the Earth. Maybe something that's totally unforeseen emerges from this and becomes an inspiration for further technology advances.